does already having started this game tomorrow one time and not finishing it kind of change the way you mentally approach it? Uh, I mean, no. Uh, at this point, to be honest, I think, uh, you know, we're heading in the right direction as a team. And uh, even though we played uh, 45 minutes the last time, at least we got an idea of, of, of what it was like, uh, what kind of team they are, you know. Uh, having played them uh, in New York, tied them, you know, the last game I think we went in 2-1, I believe. So I think we're going to be going into this game highly motivated. You guys were shut out against Bethlehem, but then had a three-goal performance this past Saturday. Do you feel like you kind of broke out of a slump, or do you feel like there wasn't even a slump in the first place, maybe? No, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a slump, you yeah. know, considering the fact that we've uh, not conceded, uh, well, we've conceded one goal in the last five games. Uh, we've scored uh, more than 10 goals. You know, I don't think it's a slump. I think it was just, uh, you know, Bethlehem, they, I mean, def defensively, you have to give them credit. You know, they sat back, and uh, we had a couple of chances. We didn't have as many, but uh, we could have utilized um, you know obviously just one goal but it didn't happen you know I just think uh, Red Bull game is gonna be different you know they're always high press they always have a lot of energy so I think it's gonna be more open compared to the battle of the game. How do you handle that press especially I don't think Charlotte pressed you guys very hard either a little bit but how do you handle kind of that change of gears in the sort of team that you're facing? I mean I think that's, uh, that's the reason we're here today you know day before a game try to prepare uh, you know, we have the right tools to do the work. Uh, obviously, we've got our coaching staff helping us in terms of preparing us, uh, things we need to do uh, into going into tomorrow's game because every game is different. Considering where you guys are in the standings, how much would a win against Red Bull mean? I mean, like, uh, honestly, we have, like, what, 10 games left? Every game is important at this, at this uh, point in time. You know, uh, if we win tomorrow, you know, we just... You know, as a team, I think we would like to win all the 10 games. You know, if we do that, then who knows, we might even win the league. So I think we're just going to take one game at a time and see see what happens. Three, three points every game. Does Coach talk about what's at stake tomorrow uh, night? I think we all know. I think we all know. You know, I think we all know what's at stake. Uh, you know, like I said, the big picture is uh, we played Charlotte this past weekend. The whole focus on Charlotte, uh, you know, because if we start saying, oh, you know, we might win and be fast, and you know, I think we have to take care of business first. Uh, if it means winning tomorrow, then that's great. You played with a number of different players in midfield, obviously with Michael's injury and then Matt's injury as well, and now Ken playing in midfield. How does how does your role change, and how have those partnerships been? No, I mean, I think uh, honestly, it doesn't it doesn't change as much, you know, uh, because. These guys have been, you know, we have a team uh, that's been here for like what, six, seven months. Uh, even if Kenny's not, hasn't been playing in the midfield, obviously he plays in the back, plays central, which is kind of like similar, you know, considering the fact that uh, the only difference is there's a lot of pressure in the middle. Uh, but I think, you know, we understand each other, we know each other, we know how each other move, we know how each other plays. So I think uh, last game, Matt Legrasse came in after not playing for, I don't know, a month or so. You know, and we still uh, were able to connect and do well in the midfield. Was it nice to get reunited with Matt over the last couple of games? Yeah, I mean, it's always good to to have guys that, I mean, it sucks to get injured. You know, uh, it's always good to have a full squad, you know, because it helps with rotation. It helps with having uh, 20 or 22 healthy guys uh, that can actually compete, you know. Uh, so irrespective of who's playing, who's on the bench, I think it's good to have healthy guys that can actually have an impact. When some of these guys have gotten hurt, do you kind of say, you know, here was my experience last year, here's, you know, here's how you kind of get through it mentally and physically, or do you kind of let them do their thing when they're... I mean, like, I just, you know, obviously I sympathize with them, mm -hmm. but I just let them do their own thing, you know, mm -hmm. because I think uh, we all deal with injuries different, you know. Uh, some people... Personally, me, I don't, I don't want somebody saying, oh, you know, it's going to be okay when, you know, it's for me to actually push myself. So I just sympathize and, you know, uh, hope that they come back uh, in time for before the playoffs, you know. I don't know. Are there still guys at Red Bull from when you were with that team? Yeah, uh, there are a couple guys. Uh, Chris Lima, I knew from the academy. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple other guys I can't think about from my head, but it's obviously still the same coaching staff and mm -hmm. coaches that I've known since I was 12, 13 years mm -hmm. old. So, mm -hmm. Do you text those guys a little smack talk over the course of oh, the Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I've been texting Ebro, the assistant coach, the whole time. So we're, we're up for it. We're ready to go. What can you take away from the last half game you guys played against them in Nashville? Yeah, I think we uh, 
definitely the first 10 minutes was a bit tough for us, um, when a goal was down. But I think the way we battled back and ended the half was really good. And like we found some things and how to unhinge their press and, and, and the way they go about doing things. So hopefully we can carry on from that. You've obviously played a New York system before. How do you how do you plan to handle the high press? I think we might have to go um, maybe a bit direct, uh, play in behind them a bit to start, and until the game settles down a little bit, and when well, there's a little bit less energy taken out the game, and we can kind of settle in and try and control the game. Hopefully, do they play differently at home than they do on the road? No, it's the same. It's the same. After the Charlotte game, you Taylor said that you kind of told the locker room like, okay, you know, I celebrate now, but then it's on to it's on to the Red Bulls. What do you kind of make of the mentality of this team right now, given what's at stake uh, Wednesday night? Yeah, I mean, I, there's we have. Correct me if I'm wrong. Ten games left, and it's in our hands at this point. I think with ten games, if we grab maximum points or as many points as we can, uh, we put ourselves in a good spot uh, to hopefully win some silverware. So we can't dwell on games. They're coming quick and fast. So. Take care of one job and on to the next. It's kind of our mentality right now. How's the how's it been playing with Ken Tribbett in midfield? Yeah, it's a different role for him. It's been good. I mean, Ken's Ken Ken's a, he's a good footballer, uh, intelligent guy. So we kind of just work off each other and talk through things. So um, it's been fun for sure. Is there something that you have to kind of change the way that you play because you're playing against a different type of player than what, if it was Michael or Matt next to you? Um, I don't think so. I think your job stays the same at the end of the day. Everyone knows. Uh, what their role is and what they have to do. I mean, if Ken didn't know what he was doing, then the coach wouldn't put him out there. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we know what we're doing and we communicate and we just we work through it. What's been the key to this six-game unbeaten streak? Right I think we've been consistent. Um, we've been consistent. We know what we want to do. I think we're taking control of games and uh, hopefully we keep doing the same thing. It's not just Red Bulls. Like the, uh, most of the end of the schedule is against a lot of the half of the top half of the league. Does that sort of uh, serve as a good test for you guys if you can beat? the best teams then you deserve to be the best absolutely i think i think that's what it is to be the best you got to beat the best so we won't have it any other way so we just keep going